Hey guys, Kiara Cornelius here from Kingdom Creative Media. I wanted to jump on and show you guys quickly how you can make this really cute trend that's happening on Instagram with the Twitter feeds going across the Instagram post. It's really simple guys, so basic. Um, you don't have to be an advanced Canva user in order to accomplish this. And it's um, also able, you also able to do this on Canva free, the Canva free account as opposed to um, doing it with the Canva Pro. So just, uh, let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can accomplish this. One's gonna be the really quick and easier way to do it. And then the other way is how to build it piece by piece. So first, obviously you're gonna to head to Canva. Then I have a Canva Pro account. You can accomplish this with a Canva free account or Pro account, but obviously there's a lot more features in the Canva Pro account. So go to actually the best way to start this is go to your inst the Instagram post button. This is going to give you a 1080 by 1080 square canvas to work with. And I already have it up, but what you're going to do is you're just going to write type in Twitter. That's it. And you can see here that there are so many variations of this trend. So it's up to you. Do you want it to have to be square? Ooh, you guys hear that thunder? Do you want the edges to be round? It really depends on what your preference is. I say the simpler, the better, and then you can kind of adjust from there. I feel like this right here is one of the styles that is most popular right now. So um, what we have here is an image in the background. Plus, if we zoom in, we can see that she has an image of herself in here, just like you would in Twitter, her handles, and then the quote she wants to use with the hashtag. A lot of times too, people will put their handle down here or maybe their website down here. Um, and if you really want it to look, if you want it to look a, like more authentic to Twitter, um, you can add the Twitter symbol, which Canva has. I'll just show you really quickly. You would go to elements, and just simply write Twitter. In here, Canva provides for you all of Twitter's, I know this is like monster, it's a monster bird. But you would just downsize that, grab the corner, downsize that, get the size you want it to be. And if you really do have a Twitter account, you can put your Twitter handle here. But if this, if, if this is just for Instagram, which a lot of people, I believe, aren't really taking from their Twitter feed, I believe people are just building these out. Some of the, the examples I showed do have people's Twitter handles and more. It, it A lot of times they do look like um, they do genuinely come from a Twitter account. So you can actually build all that out. You can add that to, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you can add that to your image. But for now, super easy. Um, I would suggest that you take an image of your own. So I'm gonna go to my uploads here. I'm gonna find an image of myself doing something. Let's see. Or maybe just like a moment. Look at me hiding behind this leaf. We'll use that. So I'm just gonna drag it over here so they can switch out. I'm going to then go over to this. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm going to click on this image again. If I want to use the same image, I will drag it. I will change this color of this frame to uh, my branding color, which is this yellow here. And then I will add my own handle, which is kingdom creative underscore media. 
I could either put my name or my website, depending on what you want. I'll put my name, Kiara Cornelius. I could do some sort of quotes and maybe like a fun hashtag. I feel like if you want it to really look Twitter-ish, Twittery, we can just make this blue. If you really want to be authentic, like you want it to look like authentic, I would, what I would suggest is they probably have found what exactly this blue is. So if I want to make sure it's the right blue, what I would do is go to this, highlight it. So we're going to change the color. Go here. The awesome part um, is, ooh, come on, come on. As we can do color, photo color. Sometimes you can you can it can give you some of the elements that are on the page. But because I have this Twitter color here, it pulled it up for me. Worst comes worst. If you if it didn't pull it up for whatever reason, I would another way you could do it is to go to the uh, color picker and to just boop, get that color, and it'll make it that color automatically. That's a little trick of the trade there. And cool. So this would be how you can make your Twitter feed. Now let's say you're like, uh, Kiara, those eyes are a little too intense. I don't want myself staring at my audience like that. I personally would maybe just adjust this image a little bit. I would probably blur it just a little bit. So the focus is more on the quote than it is on the image in the background in case the image is too busy. Um, I think because it's the image in your um, handle right here, then you could, people can kind of see that it is the same image. So you could do a super blurry, you can do a kind of blurry, it's really up to you, your preferences. Um, as you can see, when you go to your templates, there's so many different styles, um, so many things to choose from. Sometimes I like to look in the templates just to get ideas. So if you're like, but Kiara, I really want it to be super personalized. How can I do this myself? So let's just build it out really quickly. It's so easy, guys. You're going to go to elements and you're going to go to frames. See all, you're gonna find the frame that has the outline already on it. Now, some of some of the, you know, let's not actually put a frame on it. Let's not be fancy. Let's be like super, super basic. This one has a really thin frame. I'm just gonna do search frames. I'm just gonna be, listen, I'm all about searching. Why do all the work? Now, it depends on how big your quote, like how long of a quote you want to use, right? So the other thing you're going to find in Elements is you're going to find your rectangle. I don't know this is on white, but since we are doing one on white. We can just center this. Let's position that back a little bit. All right. Let's make the background so it can pop out a little more. Let's make the background like a really light color. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's just say it's gray. That way, when we make this white, you can see it better. Okay. Then you're going to find your image. Easy peasy. And then you're simply just gonna hit T. So I'd hit T and go to this. Come on, stop being disobedient. There we go. Now, as you probably know, Twitter uses a really basic um, sans font. So you can cheat by just going to some. Um, other template and see what they used. They used now. 
I would even use something like an open sans or a sans. So we can change that up. Depends on what your preference is. There goes open sauce. We'll use open sauce, that's fun. And you can put your name. And then uh, let's duplicate that. And let's then put our handle. Let's adjust it so that lined up nicely. Then you would write your quote. I'll duplicate this again because I'm lazy. I'm gonna find the center. Add a quote here. And then you can add your hashtag too. And then you can start messing around with the colors, however you wanna do it. Do you wanna do the blue hashtag? Do you want to uh, make this font smaller so that the quote stands out more, which I would recommend. This is 24, so let's just make it like, I don't know. That's too small. 18. Okay, let's do 20. Same thing with this one, let's do 20. But yeah, this trend is super easy. It really shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes. My suggestion would have your quote prepared. Make sure you source your quote because we don't like to steal people's ideas. And, um, and just build it out and really have fun with it. Images, I love adding an image. I personally like adding images in the background. It could be something as simple as um, what's really hot right now is shadows. So you just find a really cool shadow that evokes the emotion of the quote, or it's kind of eye catching. This is around the same kind of color palette. If you have, if you're trying to make your feed aesthetically pleasing, you can, you know, find colors, which I will show you in a different video, but you can actually find colors that go with your color palette um, using your hex code which is your color number. Again, that's for another day. But this is just a really quick way, really quick and easy way to jump on a trend. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, contact me and leave a comment below, like and share. Thanks guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like to learn more about Canva and how you can use it for your small business, please join my waitlist for my Canva for Small Business course.